Hello there people, this is Christian. Welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360. And to the left we have a basic uh, exercise, which I'm gonna follow. And tell about a couple of things I like to do. Let's see this one. Uh, so this is gonna be a basic, let's call it a tutorial, or basic workflow. If you prefer my more uh, elaborate and stupid workflows on straight geometry, skip this one. Come back later. I just like to add this one because I see some people doing this. We have a Facebook group where people do things like this, and they have a tendency to sketch the whole, all the teeth. You do not sketch all the teeth. You only need to do one, and then you do circular patterns in not in sketch, in features, or on the body. Why do you do that? It's much more stable. It's much less, less strain on fusion. So that's the way we want to do it. So. Uh, let's click in Fusion and we start with copy rule number one. We create a component. We're gonna create a wheel. Open up a component, have a look at it. We just not sketch. Just do it here. So we look at from the top. We're gonna have we have one big circle here. We have two more circles. So let's do three circles. A one, a two, and three circles like that. Hit escape and start the dimension tool up here. I start the circle with the circle tool so you can hit C on the keyboard. This one here is going to be 140 millimeters. This circle here is going to be 45. And the inner hole here is going to be 30. So we have done our base dimension there. Let's just move slightly out of the way. Like that. Hit escape to stop a dimension command. And let's start they making a keyway. This keyway is, mm, I think, not totally correct how they are supposed to look like. I think this is 3.0 depth if it in the tolerance for keyway. Um, but this is just exercise, so yeah, they're not, oh, that's the wrong keyway line or thing, stuff like that. I'm sorry, this is just exercise. Let's start. We're still going to draw the keyway in uh, three lines. Start the line command, zoom in slightly. And the key is starting here from here, goes out a bit. There's a line straight up, and uh, when it touches here again. The thing is, we want this keyway centered on things. We don't want to move around. Yes, we can do lines into symmetry and things, but because we have a horizontal here, and specifically this line is going to be a uh, vertical, because this is horizontal and this perpendicular, we can simply make these two lines equal. And if we do that, they will, by geometry, be symmetric. So now we can start adding dimensions. So we're going to hit the dimension up here. Start not there. Let's do that again. Hit escape. So nothing is selected. We start to mention here, and that is six millimeters. And then we're going to dimension once again uh, from this line here. And then I'm going to right click, select pick a uh, second arc tangent here. And that's going to be three millimeters. And I'm going to move the dimension up here, but you see. Uh, we're going to trim. I normally don't trim my sketches. I normally didn't trim my sketches because there are some problems when you do trim. You sometimes lose dimensions or lose constraints. Fusions has become better on that. So we can do the trim tool here and we should be able to remove this section here. It says constraints removed. But if we open our sketch, it's still fully defined. And you can see the dimension line here is still. If I touch it, you can see the AI is like an extension for the dimension. So it, this line here, uh, this dimension is a free meter from the tangent of the projection of this circle. Earlier this didn't always work. In earlier version of Fusion, some did some strange things. But now it's great. So that's that. We have done uh, a keyway and a hole and stuff. Now we're going to do one tooth. And the easy one is it looks like here you see the line here, so we have a center. So we're going to do a line. This is going to be a construction line, only to help us from here straight out. I think we touch the X, the edge, and we're going to still still do lines. We no more construction lines. Going to go from here, we see here, and we go somewhere out here, which, which I don't get uh, any constraints on this line. I hit Escape to turn off the line command. And now I want this line to be pointing straight at this center point here, which we use coincident constraint, coincident line and point. And what happens, hit escape to turn around, is that this line will now always be pointing straight at this here. So now we can start adding dimensions. Dimension, we stop the angle 15 degrees. It has only chosen this line, so I'm going to choose this one here. Click out here and type in 15 degrees. And we have, uh, it's uh, shown as like an offset dimension, so my 
Uh, so special my series is that this line here is going to be nine millimeter. So you're going to do dimension and this line. And we pull out here something flies around like this. So just right click, select uh, a line dimension. So we get it like that. You can pull it out here until it's going to be nine. It's still fully defined. And yeah, if you want to clean up, we can do a trim and remove this little line here. Constraints lost, yes, but the sketch is still fully defined. So we haven't lost anything. We can go take a check. Grab things in the sketch and see if we can move it around and no, we cannot move around things. And of course, doing it this way, the good thing is if we want to do this uh, 10 degrees, we cannot change it. Everything is parametric in the definition, but it moves around when we're touching things. So, by that, we had our sketch. We don't need it tomorrow, so we're going to, uh, we're going to use the sketch, but we're only doing this anymore sketching. We're going to finish. Uh, I should say that I have changed my preferences one here. When I do a feature like an extrude, my sketch shadow will not auto hide. You can change that if you click up your name and go into references, you can find it there. I have a small video, I'm going to link it up above, where you find some of the things I've set up to make Fusion a bit nicer to me. So we're going to extrude and we're going to select, let's do this one first. This, oh now that's a stupid one because that is dimension from that face and that face. So we can do it the other way around. We're going to start with this one, because this one is going to just move a sketch right around so we can see things better. That is supposed to be 18 millimeters. And I have coloring on now on my component, so it's going to be the color of my component. And we're going to take uh, this here. No, no, no not, not sketch. I wanted to extrude it. Sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. I want to extrude again. Select this profile here. And now it says they're going to be 60 millimeter from the top face here. So we're going to say extent type distance. No. We're going to say two object, which sounds a bit strange. So we're going to click the top. So it goes there. And now we have an offset. So we're going to add 60 millimeters. Like that. And hit enter and join. So by doing that, we're going to hide the sketch. We hide the sketch, you see. It was saw the sketch didn't auto hide. I need to sketch hide it by hand. And by that we're done the basic things. The only thing we now need to do is the rest of the teeth. Oh tooth. The tooth is here. So we're gonna go is it up here? I will forget where the things are. This is where I prefer to do uh, the fast work. Hit S on the keyboard. Start typing in circular pattern. I use S all the search function or the design shortcut version. This is basically a search function for search for something. It's much faster than trying to find things in the menu. Circular pattern and not features. We select faces uh, and we select this face. Turn around a bit and uh, this face and axis. Yes, I can click the axis here or I can basically click uh, select any round face here because it understands if you click like a circular face or cylinder face or a circular edge fusion creates an axis in the middle so we're just going to click here and the question is how many do we need this is 15 degrees so the quantity is going to be 360 degrees divided by 15 and we hit enter and fusion does some thinking and by doing that we now have created a nice little ratchet wheel here which is a very old technical part and yeah so that is how I would do this with a very stable sketch where everything is fully defined I only have a one body I don't need to do anything and the sketch is nice and clean let's edit the sketch again no white dots no no blue lines flying around and all the dimensions are locked in you can move them out a bit so they're easier to see so with that uh, take care see you around and goodbye